16 year old Innocent Odio was born without arms but uses his intellect to outcompete those lucky to be in possession of both hands. Just recently, the young man from Kole District wrote his primary living examinations using his teeth because he has no hands and the rest is now history. He scored 15 aggregates proving that disability should never be inability. While I was drawing, I was also seeing the lines. Born with three other siblings, Innocent recounts the rough times his mother faced following rejection by the community over his condition and discrimination. There was a lot of words I heard which make me to cry a lot because it was my firstborn. I was expecting him to get less than 15 because he's very intelligent. I had experience with him when he was in my school. He was a very, very good student. He loves everyone. This showed to me that this boy is going to be somebody beneficial to all of us, to the country. Although his target was to score a four, a combination of factors including discrimination and his physical status disadvantaged him. Because Matthias was given an extra time, but the speed he was using, you remember, he hold the, the pen using the, 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 the teeth. At the same time, remember, all those are the component of the, of the aid. You have to think, you have to write, you have to do other things, so could have also affected his thinking ability plus other pressure. I want to go to DOC, but as per now, I have a sister that can help me so I can go to any school. Innocent has been a beneficiary of a bursary sponsorship by former Supreme Court judge, the late Rubio Piaweri. I felt sad and I lose all my hope, but now I have gained that hope again because his family has promised that they will fulfill his promise. We consider this to be a gift to the family and which attachment we cannot disengage now that justice appeal is dead. And they, they complain that he also tell us that when he write for some minutes he, st he start feeling pain in his teeth, from his teeth. So that's why we are also seeking for some people that can afford to give him computer because for him he's able to use computer. He is asking well wishers to come to his aid to allow him realize his ambition of being a lawyer. It's about uh, 70, 75 centimeter high. So he have only one join, one one bone from down up to to the hip, so you don't have joint, you don't have knee. Innocent's experience is a big encouragement to others that disability is not inability. I'm Eddie Olua, reporting for UBC News.